This is Professor Rudy, and this video is about using for loops in MATLAB. So I have a script that I've started here. I've called this for loop examples, um, and I've just put a basic header on here and started with my clear all statement, which will uh, clear the variables from the workspace. Now, for loops are a, a type of loop that will increment through a vector one at a time and then inside the loop it'll execute those commands each time. So for example um, how this works in MATLAB is you type 4 and then you define the loop variable so what's commonly used a lot is the letter I uh, it stands for index and then that index can go um, through values in a vector. What's very commonly done is just using the colon operator. So if I say from 1 to 5, I'm going to loop through those values. So I will go through i equals 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now inside the loop, so now um, I come down here and I'm inside the loop, and that means that as I go through each increment, i equals 1, I do everything in the loop. i equals 2, I do everything in the loop. And then inside of that loop, I can um, do whatever I want. So I could type i, and what this will do is this will just loop through, and commonly inside a loop, you want to have your statements indented. And if I end, I put the end statement on there, and that will go with that 4, so that that knows when to stop looping. So this is my loop. I do i equals 1, I loop, and I come back. i equals 2, I loop, and I come back. So if I run this, it goes through, and it, all it's doing is displaying the value of i. So it starts at 1, then it becomes 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, we don't have to just do increments of 1. We could do 1 by 2 to 10. And so when that goes through, we'll get values so that was 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Um, and then it didn't get to 10 because this just created a vector of odd numbers. You can also do this with just any vector that you define. So I could do 0 0.2, 7, minus 1. And it will just loop through these values one at a time. So i equals 0.2, 7, minus 1. So this is useful. Um, one way to do this is sometimes you just want to do things a certain number of times. Maybe I want to go through and do some statement four times. Um, like MATLAB has this command called beep, which will make a tone. And if we run that, it'll do that beep statement four times. Now, we didn't really hear that four times, but it did it four times just very fast in a row. So one thing we can do is we can use the pause statement. So let's pause for, let's say, half a second in between those beeps. So when we do that, we heard those four beeps. We were just pausing for half a second in between. Um, and this is one thing you can use a for loop for. Another use of a for loop is um, that sometimes you want to go through and do a calculation um, for a certain number of cases. Um, so sometimes this means you want to run through values in a vector and um, calculate some function. So um, let's do something like that. Let's say we have some vector x that has values of whatever, 1, 1 1.2, 3, 4.5, and this could be any number of values here. So then what we can do is from that vector, we can still loop with our index i. It's good to loop with an index. Um, and I'll, I'll show you why in a sec here. So we can loop from 1, 2, and rather than manually code in the length of that vector, even though it was 4, um, let's just go to whatever the length of the vector x is. In this case, that is 4. But if we change this and went to 5 elements, if we made that a 7, um, this will still work. Um, so it's good to do that whenever you can in your code. Now inside here, let's say we want to calculate y as some function of x. So maybe we want y equals x squared. We'll do real simple. Um, but we just want to use the value that is 
in the ele the current element. So i equals 1, we want the first element. i equals 2, we want the second element. But we also need to do that for our y value. We want to increment that too so that the first component will relate to the first component of x and so on as we go through. Um, and if we run this, this will do those calculations. So we have y now, which is a vector, which is these values in x squared. So we went through and we calculated those one at a time. If we notice, MATLAB gave us a red underline on that variable y, and it's saying this variable is changing size on every loop iteration. And this is something that, well, w we didn't define y until we first entered the loop. So the first time we entered the loop, we defined y as a 1 by 1. Then the second time, now it's a 1 by 2. The third time, now we made it a 1 by 3. So MATLAB needs to keep resizing this variable, which is a slow operation. So what's nice to do is to initialize the size of that variable by using the zeros command is real convenient. What this does is it'll create a vector um, that's just default with all zero values. And you can do this to any size, any number of rows and any number of columns. So you can create matrices with this. Um, but if we just want it to match whatever is in X, we can use the size command. Zeros based on the size of X will give us Y as a 1 by 4. And then we can go through this loop and we will do that without that warning about slow operation. So we still get that same result there for Y. Um, and that's just the uh, basics on how to do a for loop.